Okay, so when it comes to uh, formatting, there's really, I mean, there's a lot of different ways. Some of them are, can be quite technical. Uh, but the f one I know of that a lot of people use that's the freest is right here from draft to digital All you need to do is set up a free account with draft to digital They offer a lot of different tools for authors to use and one of the great ones is a free Formatting tool for your ebook what I've done here already. I've set up. Uh, I've inputted my Cover already. I've already had this, you know uploaded and everything So I'm just doing this as a sample, but you just upload your cover right here uh and then you put in the book title, you can put in a series name if you have a publisher, if you've set up your own self-publisher uh, imprint, you set set up your, uh, you know, authorized author name there. Search terms here, so that can be in the metadata of your, uh, f of your EPUB, which is what's going to be formatted here. As you can see, mine is a cozy mystery, so I've added cozy mystery, paranormal mystery, and amateur sleuth. And then down here... You do these. These are the bisacks. Uh, I don't really know. I, all I know about this stuff is that it's basically the way, you know, traditional publishers have always logged their books for bookstores and libraries and everything. So you would just go down this whole big list of whatever genre your book is in and add your bisacks there. So in my case, I would probably do general, amateur, sleuth. They have a cozy here, so I'm going to click that. And I'm going to do uh, culinary because my main character is a uh, baker. And now I'm going to do paranormal. Okay, so there we go. We got start ebook. Now we're going to go to the next page. And here we go. First, you upload your manuscript. And like I said, it's super easy. So all I'm going to do is go to my desktop here. This is my uh, vellum file. Yep. I've saved this as a separate file so I can use this as a test one. So I'm uploading it there. And that is the entire manuscript. It's a Word document. I believe you can add other documents for this as well. And then you would go down while that's processing. You just put in your book description. Boom. A shorter one if you have one. Well, you, I think you... Oh, no. This one's optional. Shorter one. Is this a collection? No, it's not. It's a single book. You can add paid collaborators. So uh, if you have a secondary, if you're collaborating with a second author, whatnot, you can do that there. And then give me a free draft to digital ISBN. I want to use my own ebook ISBN. A lot of people think you need an ISBN with an ebook. You don't. I always use the free ones on all the retailers that I put my ebooks on. The only time I use my own ISBN is when I put it on my physical copies. Because then if I upload my physical copy book to somewhere to uh, so I can get print copies, if you use their ebook, or I'm sorry, their physical ISBN number, uh, they have that and then if you want to take it say you want to go from ingram spark to amazon or vice versa you can't use the same isbn for a physical copy if it's theirs if you took it from ingram you can't take it to amazon and vice versa but if you use your own you can do it there are some hoops some companies make you jump through you gotta if you try to go through draft digital has their own print uh division now and if you try to print up your physical copies through draft to digital with your own ISBN you can but you have to go back to Amazon and let them know hey I guess you have to email them to release the ISBN so it can be used on other platforms all this nonsense anyways short story of it is you don't need a custom your own physical own ISBN for ebook so draft to digital give it to me there we go save and continue uh, shorter dis sh short description must be more than 50 characters. Okay, so I'll take that one out since that is optional. I won't worry about that. And then, oh, this ebook description. Ebook. So I'm just going to type something real quick here. All right, I saved and continued. And now here's a, another cool thing about this. Like I said, I've already formatted this in vellum, but that costs money. If you're doing it for free, you can add a title page. You can add a copyright page. You can add a dedication. Dedicated to mommy dearest. Also by, you can put in all your other works if you have other works. Re new release email notification sign up. You could put in a teaser there. If you have like a link, um, that must be a link to another book or something. Buy about the author page, about the publisher page. 
we're going to do all that and then you want to check out your chapters make sure they are all in order in this case they seem to be good so you go on save and continue okay so that took about 30 seconds to a minute or so to do this this uh, first book is roughly about 50,000 words so not that long to format the entire thing and now it's giving us a, uh, a kind of preview this is your ebook D2D simple style so you can see you can go all the way back to the beginning here it's not going to show the cover even though you did upload it because this is just for all this stuff here first edition table of contents because you added that in there dedicated to mommy dearest chapter one and you keep going and going and going now you can have all these other things here this is the simple style Let's go. I, I have a mystery here. Let's do a uh, a classy mystery. So what is my header like there? Usually see when you change these little things here, they'll give you a different kind of a different font to it and a different chapter header, which is kind of nice. It adds a little pizzazz. Let's do a Nevermore. That's kind of cool. A clue. Oh, I like that one. That'll be for my next one. Grime. And then you can see here, they have romance, they have science fiction, they have nonfiction, all this good stuff. And you can change phrase cap, none, drop cap, phrase cap, none. Let's do the phrase cap here. No, drop cap. I, I kind of like drop caps. Sometimes they do get a little annoying to read. You're like, uh, is this, what line is this for? Okay. And then here you go. I have reviewed this manuscript. Save and continue. You can also download a Mobi copy, an EPUB file, or a PDF file. I never bother with PDFs. EPUB it works on all platforms. PDFs, I mean, if people are going to pirate it, they're going to pirate it anyways. But why give them the option to make it super easy with a PDF? So anyways, there you go. You have it all saved. You've confirmed everything that you like. Save and continue. And now, since you're on draft to digital you can do all this stuff here. You can upload it to all the different platforms that you want to. Like I said, the different platforms, you, sh you might as well go direct on a lot of these different platforms because you do get a little bit more chunk of the change with draft to digital They take a little bit more percentage because they are the uh, aggregator for you. But I've just went back here and I've gone back to this previous page for this. So then you could download, if all this fails, you can download the EPUB, e EPUB the EPUB, and then you have your own EPUB file here. Now, I'm going to scroll through this real quick so you can see all the stuff. Rosie Testbook. And you can see the Rosie Testbook there. The, the uh, table of contents. And dedicated to Dears. Now, obviously, <laughs> draft a digital wants you to use the platform. So they're doing this nice thing and letting authors have this basically free formatting tool for your book. And you can take this EPUB file and really upload it to any other place. I do use draft to digital for certain places, even though I have a Mac. Wow, Apple Books is so, I don't wanna say complicated, it's just a pain in the neck to try to upload your book to Apple Books, and then you have to go through all these different steps, and it's just too much for me. So I use draft to digital to upload to other places. I upload it to Apple Books, and then all of these other ones, I believe these are some of these are library services, some of these are different vendors in different countries, there's smash words here. So I use draft to digital to upload to a bunch of different retailers and uh, subscription places and libraries. But like I said, I go direct with Barnes & Nobles, Kobo, Amazon, and Google Books. So really, it's up to you however you want to upload your book. This is just a super nice thing Draft Digital does for authors in uh, making a uh, formatter for you, which works pretty nice.